morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Marion and here it's all about art, games and technology. A few days ago I uploaded a snippet of a video on my Instagram showing a very short frame animation I did in Photoshop. Some of you asked to see a tutorial on how I did that, so here it is, let's jump right in. Oh, and don't forget to send me your animation if you do any. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching, bye! First of all, I wanna say please don't expect any super intricate animation in this video. This was actually started purely for fun and I continued it to show off not any awesome animation skills but to show off my process on how I actually do animation in Photoshop. I'm working on a Cintiq Pro 13 inch and the software I'm using is Adobe Photoshop CC 2015. I'm starting off with a very simple sketch. I'm not adding too much detail and I'm trying to keep the lines pretty fluid because as you go on and animate the sketch, lines can change up pretty quickly. So I'm not trying to have a very clean sketch at this point yet. The first thing you want to do when starting an animation is open your timeline window and click on create frame animation. That gives you one frame that shows the current visible layer you have been working on and creating your sketch on. To make your sketch move, you will add more and more frames and change up the sketch in a way that gives the impression of a moving head or turning head. The way you do this is you create a new frame by clicking on the duplicate frame button. You create a new layer or duplicate your current layer and expose the visibility of your layer to the frame you want to have it on. In the beginning this can sound a little bit confusing and doesn't make much sense because it's kind of different from working in other animation programs, but stay with me for a minute. The frames in the timeline are connected to the visibility of the layers on the right hand side. You can see which layer is visible by looking at the eye icon right next to the little layer symbol. So if the eye is visible, the layer is visible. If the eye is not there, the layer is invisible in this current frame. So by changing up the visibility of the different layers in the different frames, you can actually make your image move. I go back and forth between the frames very very often, then I make sure I'm on the correct layer and I make my corrections there. By using this exact same technique, you can add more detail to your animation by adding more layers. For example, a color layer or even shading and lighting. A few more tips here. By keeping your layers clearly named, you can avoid some confusion when you create longer animations with, for example, 10 or more frames. Also, if you're not sure which element of your drawing is on which layer and you cannot find it right away, you can use the shortcut Control click to jump on the right layer right away. And just to be clear, you definitely don't need a Cintiq to create animation like that. Any pen tablet allows you to do that with the Photoshop software. If you have any more questions about animating in Photoshop, please leave a comment down below or tweet me at 5 underscore strokes 